I'm the asshole for calling my girlfriend cheap. Not necessarily. I mean, I would take it as a compliment. She never wants to eat out, like, at all. I usually eat out two to three times a week, but it's hard to get her to eat out even once a month. She always says she can make the same thing for cheaper and will only eat out after some pleading from me. She doesn't tip very high either, only 15% usually. Is this, this is bait, right? If you want to get Reddit upset, you just bring up tipping. Either way, 15% is like the worst number you could bring up because half of people are like, you should leave zero, and half of people are like, 15%? What, did they spit on your plate? These are not necessarily like crazy behaviors. Like, it's not like she's hanging up her tea bags on the clothesline to reuse them or something like that. It's like, it's just fairly reasonable, like, cost savings to make without impacting your quality of life very much. Like, that's not that crazy. She won't ever buy coffee and even brings her own coffee maker kit rather than buy coffee for road trips. And she won't buy bread or oat milk. She insists to make it to save money even though it takes so long. She only buys things on sale, blah, blah, blah. She refused to buy things in Ikea. Okay, now that's crazy because Ikea is like really cheap. That's like one of the cheapest furniture stores you could go to. She's, I'm starting to see his point, honestly. <laughs> Not as cheap as other places. It's, it's pretty cheap though. It's super expensive. It's like super not, though. My bookshelf was like 60 bucks. It's a piece of garbage. Like you would never, <laughs> you would never be like, whoa, check out this bookcase. You won't believe where I got it. You're like, you know, it's more like that's where my books go. But it's pretty cheap. Ikea is expensive. Is this like a regional thing? We, our last bed, not the bed we use now. We bought a bed from Ikea. It was a double bed. It cost $200. That's something you literally use for like a third of your life. It costs half of what like a PS4 cost at the time. I've seen tables for $2,000 in Ikea. Yeah, but you've probably also seen tables for like 70 bucks. And they'll tell you which one they're moving more of. Ikea prices have gone up 30%. Thanks to Lumber. Lumber round trip, motherfucker. You think I don't listen to Odd Lots with Joe Weisenthal and Tracy Alloway? Try serving me. So, oh, this costs more because of the lumber. The lumber went up and it came right back down. Because of the lumber. Good for the tuna. Anyway, this person is just crazy. Now, I will say, and, and like I, I've annoyed a certain subset of people. I'm going to annoy the other subset of people. I do also get annoyed when people treat never spending money as like that person is like more moral shit drives me crazy because i mean on the internet at least you know when you're, you got the spotlight on you like i do sometimes you're like i went out for a sandwich yesterday and then people are like go out for a sandwich wow must be nice to be you know the price you paid for that sandwich i could have bought uh, two loaves of bread and boar's head cold cuts and cheese and had sandwiches for a week. And then someone else is like, oh, bread from the supermarket. Must be nice to be uh, in the upper middle class. I could have bought four kilograms of baking flour and used that to make 17 loaves of bread at my own house and then stolen a chicken from a farm and use that to make an egg every single day and I could have eaten sandwiches for three weeks. Like the idea that spending money is always immoral and then like saving money is always moral. I, I think that there's some kind of like conditioning there that has led society down a, a, a what I would consider a, 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 a path that is not necessarily accurate. Cause I deal with it with my parents. Like, Anytime my parents come out for dinner with us, my dad will say something like, holy cow, like $26 for spaghetti? And I'm like, just, I know you can make it at home for like, listen, they always say crazy stuff too. Like I can make it at home just as good for half the price. And I'm like, no, you can't. You could probably make it pretty good, but there's like eight bucks worth of butter. You never do that to yourself. You, you care about your cardiac health. You can make good spaghetti. You're not making it this good. I'm sorry. They're making this spaghetti 20 times an hour. They know what they're doing, okay? I've had your spaghetti. I've had their spaghetti. Their spaghetti wins out. You can't compete with the pros. Nobody looks at, like, uh, they, they don't get arthroscopic surgery and go, like, wow, I could probably do this for 450 you know? But then the chefs, they're always, like, they, people always look at it exclusively in terms of ingredient costs. They don't consider it, like, an art. Like if you go to Subway and you're, like, I can make this sandwich cheaper, you're, like, yeah, no shit. 
It's just like literally all they're doing is doing what you tell them. Of course, you, you, got, you get it for convenience. But if you go to like a real restaurant and you're like, I could get this shit cheaper. Okay, then fucking go to Le Cordon Bleu Institute of Culinary Education. Go to the American Culinary Institute. F fucking waste your 20s going up to going to the restaurant at 7 a.m., leaving the restaurant at midnight, smoking 400 cigarettes a day to learn how to make, a, you know, a beurre blanc. It's just insulting to say you can make this cheaper at all. Anyway, all I'm saying is it's not immoral to spend money and it's not moral to save money. It's, it depends on your lifestyle. It depends on what, you're, what you value. 